everyone out there. Uh, I'm back again doing one of my simple, simple <laughs> tutorials. I'm sure if you saw seen the only other one I did, you'll, you know I only cover the bare basics. I don't go into a lot of detail or explain all the fancy tricks. Uh, today I was going to try and show you how to use the bare essentials of the control panel switches. These are all the uh, custom switches that you can see right here and uh, now I won't um, I'll be honest I don't know how to use the signals as much so you know I'm just given the bare essentials for how to make one of these work for instance we'll use this as front thruster I'm not good at typing either so sorry about that now you know, on on the Hoover, the main reason people want the uh, the the control panel switch is to shut off their front Hoovers for mining HVs. Obviously, uh, this isn't the mining I HV, but uh, uh, I was just going to demonstrate how to do that on this one. Uh, that's actually more advanced than the basic switching mechanism, which I'll explain here in this little ship and basically is what I'm going to do here is turn off all of the uh, thrusters and RCS's for like a parking mode and uh, or energy conservation and that's it the first thing you want to do is highlight and name the switch you can name any name you want and then just click off of it and you'll see it saves so then we'll go to what we want to turn on and off. Now right now it's off because there's nothing on here. And I don't know why my turrets and weapons are off. Anyway, now we'll go to the devices. And in this case, I want to shut off all of these plus my RCSs. Now you could also put your spotlights in here or whatever, but I don't bother. They usually have their own switches for all the lights. Uh, spotlights actually might be a good one on this vehicle, so I don't have to affect the uh, interior lights, which are already set up on uh, motion sensors. And in addition to the outside lights set on motion sensors. So I don't want to mess with those, but the spotlights might be a good one. But anyway, I'll get back to where we were. We have thrusters and RCSs, so we'll go here. And we'll just select that short grip. Thrusters and RCSs are now in there. Hmm. Why have I got two selections? Oh. Don't know why that's there. So we'll kind of get rid of it by making it a default name so I don't have to worry about it. Alright, back to where we were. We have thrusters, RCSs, and then we'll just set this switch to that name. And we'll do that for each device that we want it. And notice that these only act on full uh, categories, on full directories, not on individual devices. So we're just going through and getting the entire groups of thrusters and that will tie them all to the same switch in addition to the RCS's so that's all my movement now you'll notice it's on off. and that's it and then you literally just name the switch and then go in here and select the category that you want to t disable or enable and uh, that's the basics. Again, these can do a lot more, and, and particularly when you tie them to signals and switches, but I'm not covering any of that. That's my basic. Then when I park, I just turn that off, and my energy consumption will go way down. Well, you can't see it now, but your energy consumption should go way down. Now we're only getting, there we go, we're getting like 50 KW more. Yeah, roughly 40, 40 plus KW. Uh, and I don't know why I'm so high on my usage. 
So you, if you're like me and you like to turn everything down, you'll want to make sure all your stuff that you're not using is turned off. Anything you don't need at the time could be turned off. And now we're down to 232. That's with the thrusters on and no, no use, of course. Of course, turrets I would want probably to leave off. So we're at 247. Turrets, and we're saving quite a bit with what little fuel's in there. We only have 118. I'll turn that back on. It drops to 105. The more fuel you put in there, the more difference it can make. But anyway, that that's how you use this switch. Uh, next, we're going to show you how to do. Basically, it's just an extension of what we just did. Again, well, uh, I don't know why I went there, uh, but anyway, I'm going to turn this on. Now, we're going to set up front thrusters only. Problem is, we don't know which ones are the front thrusters, and they're in the same group. Since that, that switch only works for a single group, is what we're going to do is add a group. And well, Hoover. I said thruster. I'm, I'm sorry. And in this case, the machine and it creates its own new group. Now, the next thing we got to do is figure out which one is actually the front Hoover. And if you can actually point at them, that helps. And I can in God mode here, but let's assume we're doing this on a server or something where you can't do that. And I like to get where I can actually see the Hoover through the window and just turn them. Until I find the right one. Okay, well, I know that's the left one. So the top one is the left one. And I'm betting that's going to be, yeah. So the middle one is the front Hoover engine. So this one, well, just put here and where it is. Yeah, add to group. Now, even it's already in a group, but it doesn't matter. We can still move it to front Hoover group. Blah. Okay, now we've actually got the front Hoover engine grouped on its own. And that was set to our front thruster. Well, rename that Hoover. <laughs> Pretty sure, yeah, it, it, it'll change it. It's the same ID device ID. So, there we go. Now, if this were a mining device, a mining uh, get it all the way up. If this were a mining one, we would just come in here and turn that off. I do notice that, it, especially in and this, it for some reason, it takes forever before it actually disables. No, it's disabled. Maybe I need to just move it. But it allows you to tilt down better in a mining device that's it's set up for. But that's weird. Am I? Oh, there it goes. For some reason, it took forever. I. I think that's either, I think it's because of creative, but I don't know, I haven't tried that. But that should work. And that should power it up. Of course, it could be, this is, no, these are real thrusters, aren't they? Oh, there it went. Yeah, this is RCS's and thrusters. So apparently it takes a little while. I, I don't use auto miners, HV miners, so I really don't have any experience with this. In fact, this is the first time I've ever tried to set one up for it, so I'm not sure that I'm doing it correctly. That's just the way you could set it up through the control panel switches. But really, the only difference I did as far as this one is is just having to create and move the device to its own category so that it would work for these. 
Uh, there are ways to set them up with signals and or with switches and motion sensors where that wouldn't be a necessity uh, that, that you wouldn't have to regroup them but uh, I'm not going to cover that here uh, like I said I hope that helps uh, the easiest thing is, is just remember to rename them and then set them to whole groups they work just fine um, here you know it's the same thing when you park you just set that off all your thrusters turn on so you don't have to worry about your ship flying away <laughs> That's it. I hope that helped uh, get some people started. Y'all have a good day.